Yo, what's going on, my gaming master here, and welcome to a new series that I'm starting on Saturdays, which is a name undecided. It sounds like my Destiny render just finished rendering. Uh, uh, Destiny episode 13 is the I'm not sure it was the the dude that Sony Vegas Pro does when it finishes rendering. But anyway, the name is undecided at the moment, but it is in layman's terms, it's a Monopoly series every Saturday where we just play a game of Monopoly just to have fun. Maybe, maybe in the future I'll have other people come over and we do split screen since I have enough controllers for the original Xbox. But for now it's just going to be me and three AI players, which, by the way, uh, this is a game that I just, I had lying around for a decade. I've had this game lying around for, I think, a decade at this point. I've, I, I didn't get the chance to play it all that often, but I think I'm going to play it a little bit more now. I've, in fact, there's a lot of games I have for the original Xbox that I don't play all that often that I probably should play more, so... I might take a uh, take a look at some of those. So uh, we're not going to do custom rules, or since since because I haven't played Mon Monetary Monopoly in a while, I think I'm going to have the guy comment on for this episode. We're not going to do custom rules. Select theme. We'll go classic for this round, just because again I haven't played a lot before. I, I do remember some of the basic strategies though. And all right, let's continue. So new player. See, we still have my profile here. AI easy. Let's go AI medium and AI hard. Easy, medium, hard. This seems fair. All right. Controllers set up. So our, our AI friends are going to be Tycoon, Sarah, and Pete. Let's find... All right. So I think Pete's going to be the difficult one because Pete, I believe, is the one I made hard. Anyway, let's do it. I'm Mr. Monopoly, and I'll be your guide during this game. As you encounter something new, I'll explain what it is. Just give an explanation, just press the A button, you can turn off this feature from the in-game menu. I may turn it off at some point, but for now I'm going to keep it on. Mr. Uh, for reasons, you know, must be determined. Okay, yes, thanks. That much I get. So I roll, I, I rolled these one of two most unlikely, if we all rolled doubles, okay. So the two most unlikely rolls, three of, three out of the four of us rolled doubles. Wow. Uh, so I could pull an RJ and go, I'm the car. I'm always the car. I could go the battleship, I could go the top hat, the iron, the boot, the dog. See, typically in Monopoly, I do in fact go the car. That's just something that I typically do. Will I go with this time? I might, mm, you know what, yeah. We'll, we'll stick, we'll stick true to tradition and we'll go car. And then the AI are going to pick theirs. And that's... All right, we all have our pieces. So do I, I don't I don't keep my six right now. What a shame. So I go seven. If you don't want to wait for your token, okay, cool. Okay, so first things first. Oh, I already get a chance card. That's cool. Chance, you have been elected chairman of the board. Pay each player $50. And we're already off to a great start. Can, okay, that's great. So what I was trying to say is that the two most unlikely, uh, the two most unlikely numbers to roll in any game of Monopoly is are, are there two and twelve, with seven being the most likely, and seven is what I ended up rolling. There. Oh, oh, we, oh, and Tycoon's in jail. That was fast. All right. Oh, then again, he it is. Oh, are you gonna buy it? You know, you don't want to. Okay, so that. It wasn't really on my... I, I usually do like to get the light blue locations, but it wasn't particularly on my radar. That may have been up. So, as I'm sure everybody knows, and I, I've heard this is common knowledge at this point, is that the orange ones are the most likely, or the, the ones that you land on the most, statistically speaking. So, chance, advance, token, to the nearest rail. Is it, oh. So, what I'm... That, those are the ones that I'm really shooting for. Uh, those, the, those and the red ones, okay, you didn't, okay, I, I need to get to the orange, hopefully I get to the orange this turn, I'm, I don't, because the base, the big thing with Monopoly is buying, I see, I get another seven, is getting as much property as I can, as fast as I can, so we're gonna buy this, and then that's it, and yep, okay, she, so, something, in, another thing with jail is that, in the early stages of the game, you, you want to get out of jail as fast as possible. No doubt about it. No, don't take my... Oh, you're gonna... Okay, I'm gonna have to try and bargain that off of you later. Because I don't really want to have to deal with only having two. I might... Actually, no. You, you don't want to take my art. No. Okay. And we're already off to a not-so-great start. 
But we'll roll with it, I guess. There's still plenty of fish in the sea. Although, perhaps it wasn't the best idea to put all four players active on the board. Perhaps I might try only three players next week, depending on how this goes. Oh, no, you know, you, you, you don't want to take the red, right? Or the, or the yellow, right? You, you want to take waterworks? Is that what you want to do? Okay. And when utilities... Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm fine with that. And my turn again. What do we got? So, we're going nine this time around. And where does that land? That puts us in one of the red. Yes, please. We, so, yeah, we want to get as much property as soon as possible, but concurrently, we don't want to get too much. Just because, you know... We, we might go bankrupt, which to go bankrupt this early in the game would be a very terrible thing. Oh, wait a second. Oh, you good god. This is the first auction of the game. Remember, everyone bids at the same time. Each time you select the money icon, that amount will be added to your bid. The auction will continue until there are no more bids. The player with the highest bid wins the auction. Okay, I would really like to have Atlantic Avenue. Like, I would really want to have... Oh, we're, we're just getting into... Okay, who is the highest highest bid? 15? All right. Wait. Two can play at this game. We're going for it. What? No. What? Nope. Come on, buddy. Nope. Okay. I got it. Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea, but I do want to have as much property as I can just, just to have property on the board so that I can then capitalize on it later with houses and hotels as my current strategy. Again, it's been a long time since I've played Monopoly. Don't put it up for auction. Don't do that. Okay, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not auctioning this time. Nope. Unless it's a really low bid, I'm, I'm not going to auction this time. I already blew half my budget on the last one, so we're not, we're not doing the song and dance again. Oh, wait, do I have to... Oh. Never mind, then. Okay. Yeah, so... I'm not gonna have all the yellow ones. But I can try and get the... I can try and get two of the three. That That's something that I can try and do. And then... Typically, what I end up doing is I get the orange... I get the... The orange, the red, and the yellow are the ones that I get the most. And then, of course, I try to go for... Either boardwalk or park place at some point. And I do like to get the light blue. I, I don't... I don't typically get the purple ones, just because the purple ones are very rarely landed on, ever, in my experience, so I don't typically go for them, but you never know. It might happen, and where are you... Okay, can I skip? Yeah, I can skip, okay. I, I, I might start skipping through the actual going around the board. Alright, my turn again. Uh, we're going again with the C. I told you, seven's the most common. Alright, where does this put us? Ah, lovely. Well, that's fun. Alright, so I'll, I'll just have to pay the fee to get out when the time comes. Where are you going to land? Community chest. You won. You have won second prize in a community contest. I think that's our beauty... Wait, did it say beauty contest or community contest? Probably, it's probably sick beauty contest. Uh, pay hospital $100. Yeah, I currently have the lowest amount of money, and I don't know quite how many... I, do I have two or three? I think I might only have two properties on the board at the moment. Which isn't the best thing in the world, but we're going to have to roll with the punches. The other thing, too, is I have no idea how long this video is going to end up being. Because I remember that these Monopoly sessions can... Now, don't go to auction again. Come on, we are... Uh, oh, boy. This isn't good. Okay. Let's, let's just put up $10. Because I know it's going to go way higher than that. Or maybe it won't. Actually... Uh, you know what, let's... No, I'm not gonna... I'm not, I'm not gonna waste half of my money on this. I do really want the orange, though. It's tempting. Oh, boy. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, pay to get out. Pay jail fine at fifty dollars, and then we roll the dice to go a whopping four spaces away. Is this owned by? No, it's owned. It's owned by me. Awesome. Has anyone even landed on one of my spaces yet? I don't think that's a thing that's happened. And let's go. Okay, cool. That's fun. 
Oh, someone actually landed on Baltic Avenue. Would you look at that? Something else I want to try and do is try to get... Like, if, if it'd be nice if I could see a top-down view of the board so I can fully see what everybody has, rather than just kind of guessing based off memory, but, you know. Uh, because at the moment... Like, for instance, Tycoon almost has a monopoly on the orange spaces. Doesn't, but almost does. So that's something I really don't want to have happen. And then it's my turn again. And I'm going four spaces. Am I going to land on one of the... Uh, yeah. I am. Okay, how much do I owe you? Four... A rent of $14. Okay, I can, I can afford that. Oh. Trade initiated by Tycoon. Wait, hold it. What's going on? What... What the... Oh. Oh. Okay, so it, it doesn't affect me at all. It's Tycoon trading with Sarah. By the way, Tycoon... What kind of... We have an AI, AI name is Tycoon. Also, that was the top-down view that I was looking for and didn't even pay a little bit of attention to it. So that's fun. Yeah, playing with four people probably wasn't the best idea. Admittedly, when I play Monopoly, it was typically with two people. Just me, me and a friend, typically. I, actually, there was... I used to play this game yearly at New Year's Eve with a group of neighborhood friends. That was that was three of us who played. Uh, several level, you get a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I know these things. I was gonna hope. I, I, the reason I turned it on was ma uh, okay. Good. I keep landing on my own spaces, but nobody else's. But at least I get to go again. Oh wait, sorry. What am I on about? Landing on my spaces and no one else's is a good thing. What I was trying to say was that I keep landing on my spaces and not spaces that nobody owns. That's that's what I really want in life. Uh, but yeah, typically it's just me and a friend, or me and a family member. Except for the yearly Monopoly game that friends and I played on New Year's Eve. Oh, we're doing this again. Wait. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought you were... Oh, wait. Hold it. What do you want? Okay, so can I view the can I, can I view the details of this? So you're giving wait wait okay this okay so, okay wait this is confusing trade properties given something. And received something. Actually, wait. Now let me take this opportunity to look look at the top down of the board. Okay, I have one of the three yellow spots. I have one of the. Th I'm gonna try to put my monopoly on red. If I can get to red, that's where the that's where they're going. And shoot, Sarah has a monopoly on purple. How did we let that happen? And Tycoon has a monopoly on orange. How did we let that happen? Things are going south very quickly. All right, so I should I should probably try to control the top of the board. Maybe. Wait, what does Sarah want? What does Sarah have that? So if she gives me this and I give, what do, what do I have that she wants, is the question. It'd be great if you could tell me what it is. Uh, so she has control over, oh wait, can I see them on the board? Maybe? So I, I'm thinking maybe, I'm think, but I don't own that. It's like, here, you know, uh, Hold it, wait, wait, wait. Let's counter it. This is a screen where players can select properties to trade. To select a property, use the thing to highlight a property and press the A button to cycle between players. Pressing the white and black buttons will display the selected title deed. Trades are not final until all parties accept the proposed trade. Trading is a heck of a lot easier when it's done in real life. Okay, now can we figure out what you had up for off? So Virginia owner is what you were going to give me and I was going to give you... No. I was going to give you Virginia Avenue. And you were going to give me Baltic Avenue. Oh my god, that's a such, 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 such a bad trade deal. That is such a bad trade deal. <laughs> I mean, be, you know, great if you could have. Oh. Touche, Sarah. Touche. Sarah also wants the red, but Sarah's not going to get the red, is she? Oh, no. She's not going to get the red. No way am I going to let her get the red, or the yellow for that matter. Not that I can really do anything to stop it. It's a, but we shall try our very best to make sure it doesn't happen. 
Income tax, pay two hundred. Oh, yeah, in income tax. That's always fun. But hey, at least I don't have the lowest amount of money anymore. Although, and at least Tycoon has a justification because of all the hotels. Or no, no, no hotels. Just the houses. Whereas I don't. Bear oh wait, wait, we're bidding again. Can we? You know how rare auctions were when we played this in real life. This is like. A once in a lifetime thing. Now it's what is this the third or fourth auction so far? I lost count. Uh you know what? Let's put this up there. Just just to wait. Yeah. You know what? Let's do that. See how quickly it gets countered. Okay, so it does that. Uh I'm willing to go. I'll say I'm willing to go to 150. Is what what I'm willing to do. Alright. Yeah. Because now, now I've de I've deemed I was I've deemed Sarah my mortal enemy because of that stupid trade deal that Sarah has proposed to me. So now uh, I've made it such that she does not get all of the light blue. She's probably going to trade me. She's going to try to trade because now now one diff now three different people own a own a property from the light blue. So she's probably going to try and trade one of those off of each of us. But we'll see what happens. All right, where are we gonna land this time? Oh, passing your collection of dollars, and we're gonna land on income tax. Oh dear, you've landed in the income tax space. Yes, 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 this is always fun. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Pay $111, which is better than the standard 200 fare. Always despise that space. Okay, what's up next? Free parking. Yeah, I think I saw a YouTube video. I didn't watch it because clickbait. But I'm pretty sure I saw it one time where it was like, what you're actually... I, I, you know what? Let me see if I can find it. While we're watching these three go through the go through the motions. What's actually supposed to happen when you land on free parking? Ooh. Yeah. No, thank you. Because if if there was something actually supposed to happen, I would have read it in the rule book, and so sh and so would have ever so would everyone else. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, so where we don't don't. Okay, fine. You get a measly ten dollars, Sarah. But this is not over yet. Oh, poor tycoon goes to jail. <laughs> Oh no, she's gonna buy this, isn't she? If she, if Sarah gets a monopoly on the blue spaces, that's game over. Like there's, there's no coming back from that. Even if we don't land on it, that's game over. Oh boy, I, I need to get more properties. I, I need to acquire more. What I, what I currently have is not anywhere near enough. And my turn again. All right, I, uh, not the best, but I get to go. I get to roll again. So you know, not the I. Please don't give me doubles once again. That's not something I want to deal with. Please no. Okay, good. Whew. Dodge that bullet. Where is this going to put me? Marvin Gardens. And I can't buy it. Well, shoot. There goes my plan. As you have declined to buy the property, I will offer for auction all the players allowed to participate in the auction. That's not good. Actually, this would be one instance where I'm fine with Sarah getting it. Because then Pete gets it. And then Pete has two of the three spikes. So, Sarah, even though you can't hear me and you're literally nothing but an AI, please don't let Pete over here get his hands on Marvin Gardens. That's something we just don't want to do. Pete, you're not allowed to have Marvin Gardens. That is for either Tycoon or Sarah to have. And also Tycoon is in jail. That's a fun thing. Come on. Come on, don't let Pete have this. Don't, don't do that. Don't let, Pete, don't let Pete have Marvin Gardens. You don't want to do that. I mean, I can't bid higher than him. Ugh, darn it. Okay, fine. I'm... I'll just, I'll just admit now that I'm probably not going to win this game. I'll have to... I, I mean, it's... My, I'll, I'll, I'll fall back on the... I haven't played this in a while as my excuse, which I haven't. I'll just have to learn more about the game and strategies so that hopefully I can actually... Pull, oh, who are you trade? Who... Who are, you, who are you trading with this time, Sarah? Me again, huh? Alright. So... 
What's in what's in flux here? What are you giving me? So so okay. So if I give you something, and I'd be willing to bet that something is the red that you want so desperately, then you're gonna give me again. You're gonna give me Baltic Avenue. Wait, is are you, maybe? Hmm. And it's it's like why why would why would I do that? No, no, we're not doing that. It's nice try, nice try, sir. I know you really want to monopolize red, but that's the one thread I'm hanging on to to stay in this game. So. No, thank you. That's what it looks like. I guess, I guess I'm not the only one in the 200 category yet. So, I guess I'm not completely alone. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, my turn. Going five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, how much do I owe you? $28? Um, Alright, fine. This usually doesn't go as poorly as it does. I will say it, it seems like it's going a bit faster than in real life, just because, I mean, obviously it's computerized and I can skip through stuff. But even then, it, it just seems a bit more fast-paced than it typically is. Also, because computers can do all the calculations and all that. You know, I'm just going to go with computers make things faster, which is true. Anyway. Uh, of course. Have I passed? I, I think I've only passed go a single time. I think it's a... So I think, yeah, so I think what was going to happen is she's, she really wants to give up Baltic Avenue. Like, she she thinks that Baltic Avenue is a good thing to trade on. And she thinks that giving me Park Place is going to convince me to give her a red. But guess what, buddy? I want to cap, I want to monopolize those red spaces because they're all I have left, essentially. I have, I have a few one-off spaces, but so far, nobody else except for, except for you, Sarah, has something in the red space. I am going to hold on to everything I can. I will. I'm, you know what? I'm willing to. Okay. So now I gotta fight for my life, huh? No, because then I'm gonna go bankrupt. Don't, don't let me. You know. This is my. This might be a bad idea. Yep. Okay. No. I'm going down. Darn it, Sarah. Sarah, me. Just recently we watched The Lion King, and that's a good movie. Hey, speaking of movies, might be a good opportunity to talk about something called Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Look, the, the original Wreck-It Ralph was a phenomenal movie. It was an absolutely wonderful movie that I loved to bits, not only just because it was based off of games. It combined, it was a perfect combination of nostalgic arcade titles with, all right, you know what, just to piss Sarah off, we're going to buy this. It was such a perfect blend of nostalgic arcade titles with a genuine story about a hero. So, the, I, lo I love the movie so much. And I, I didn't really think it needed a sequel because it ended on such a positive note where it's like every day when I finish work I get to see Vanilla B racing. And if that little kid likes me, how bad can I be? Like, that's such a positive, uplifting message or, and note. To oh, is Sarah going into debt, buddy? Oh, no, because you're trading? Or no, you're okay. You've cleared your debt to Tycoon. Okay. I was, was kind of hoping that Sarah would go into debt. Not gonna lie. Anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Wreck-It Ralph 2. But, so we did, I didn't think it needed a sequel, but I figured if they were going to make a sequel, it would be with a pretty cool idea. But, I don't know. This time, it's like, we're going to the internet on the new adventure. Which, okay. Sounds like an like interesting premise. But, now... Like, I've seen two trailers at this point. I've seen the first trailer, which very much looked like a teaser. But then I saw the second trailer, which is apparently the official trailer. But that also just looks like another teaser trailer. It, it, like, it doesn't show us anything about the plot. Which, look, I, I'd rather go into a movie knowing nothing about the plot and being intrigued by the premise and then, be, and then being amazed by the plot. Which, I, which was kind of the case with the original Wreck-It Ralph. But that doesn't mean you get away with... Product placement, product placement, product placement. Here, let me show let me show you all how amazing Disney is by hey look, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars. You know, I should have done the same thing. Marvel, Star Wars. Because they're both they both they're both terrible. 
uh, Muppet Show, Disney, Winnie the Pooh, Disney Princess, which I'll admit that seeing all the princesses together is a very, very cool thing. I don't know why it's in a Wreck-It Ralph movie, though. It just seems like pointless product placement and, like, a big self-advertisement for Disney. I don't know. It will go one of two ways. It will either, A, be a... Phenomenal movie that blows me away and shows the like the emoji the emoji movie that This is how you should have done things or it will be just like the emoji movie and I will have been right all along I really freaking hope it's the first one like I genuinely want this to be an amazing movie I just don't think it's going to end up being an amazing movie and Oh god, what do I have to pay you? I can't do that. I'm you must sell some houses or hotels if you have no more mortgage property you owe in order to get generate some more money. See, this is about the point in the game when I would team up with either Pete. I would I would either put up put aside my differences with Sarah and team up with her, or I would team up with Pete to take down Tycoon. Because right now Tycoon is the biggest threat on this board. Okay. Uh, what can we mortgage? I I need to get rid of stuff. I need to mortgage you, you, you. Yeah. Okay. I have to get rid of everything I own apparently to stay in this game. But would that even be worth it? Like, would it? You know what? Let's, let's do it. I have $10 now, and I've given... Wait, why, why have I mortgaged it to Tycoon? Why is that a thing that I just... No. <laughs> Where, where's the team up with Pete and Sarah option? Like, because that, that, that's what would happen in a real game Monopoly. At this point, like, I remember one, one, it got mentioned earlier about the New Year's Eve thing. It was one time I was playing with these guys. And one of them was rocketing away with all the things, including Boardwalk. So, that is to say, monopolized Boardwalk and Park Place. So the two of us decided, you know, we're gonna team up. I mean, we're gonna team up against him and take him down. Oh no! Don't let Tycoon get Boardwalk. And this is all I can give. You know, he's gonna give. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. Anyway, they team we teamed up against him to take him down, and then we went back to a uh, free for all. So, you know, th this is the point in the game when stuff like that would happen because it's against three AI players. That's not a thing that can happen. So, that's fun. Bought Tycoon for fifty-two dollars because he knows that none of us can. Look at him. See, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put those hotels on orange, but I was very unlikely with unlucky with the dice this game. Here we go again with the seven. I have no properties now. And I am officially bankrupt. It appears you owe more money than you can raise from selling houses, hotels, and mortgage property. Or as one might say, you are officially bankrupt. All of your houses and hotels will be sold and the money guaranteed given to your creditor together with all of your properties. And I'm out. Bankrupted by Pete. Oh boy. Well, I guess that's it for me then. Alright, so that was a bit of a disappointment, not gonna lie. I, I, I'll attribute that to being, to it being my first game back in a while. Uh, but, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get better as time goes on. I'll, I'll improve. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have better games. I think I'm gonna do three players instead of four next time, just so that it's not as big of a calamity around the board, and also so that I, we don't have to wait as long for my next turn. Like I said, this is, this is the first episode. I'm still experimenting with some things, so we'll see how this goes. And also, that was a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna end up being, so that's good. Although, I imagine the next game will probably be a bit longer, just because I'm gonna have three players. It's gonna be probably more trading. I, I'm gonna try not to go bankrupt as fast, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's going to do for this episode of Monopoly. So, I would like to thank you for watching. See you for the next episode. Until then, it's been a gaming Magic 13. Signing off, saying hope you go finish a walk with day. And I will catch you next time for some more Monopoly Party Saturdays, I guess. Goodbye!